were hoping, we, were, we had faith in the cat people of the world to support the film, but you never know, of course. You take a big gamble whenever you make any kind of film. It's a really cinema experience. It's nice to experience it with a group of people and on the big screen to see these beautiful animals in giant form. The first two days, there was a lot of back pain because we experimented with different uh, rigs. We thought maybe we can you know, modify remote-controlled cars with cameras, and it worked, but the cast didn't really like it. Uh, Charlie and I decided to create their own rig, which was basically a platform and a cane, and that worked best because the cats were very happy to be around us as people. The other difficult parts with it, they would come just as we got into position, they would come and sit on our lap or start rubbing their faces on the camera, you know, the lens and whatnot. And so, and, and the endless hours of grooming. <laughs> but we have 180 hours of footage. And there's, you know, the film is 79 minutes, so you can guess just how much extra footage there is of cats grooming themselves. <laughs> Islam, in the teachings of the Prophet Muhammad, there's many references to the cat and it's used as a way to explain respecting the other in, as, 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 as subjects in their own right, as, as opposed to just being our objects. So people often use that as an excuse to justify their devotion to cats, which I found really sweet. 